everybody, Backyard Boy in here and welcome to this week's In Focus Friday where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver and gold and we've got a new sponsor today, very proud to bring on the Lithuanian Mint as a channel supporter. They've sent me one of their very, very cool coins, the portrait of Dorian Gray to have a look at and it's pretty cool, let me tell you. Here it is in the box, we're gonna give it a full overview and rundown here on this video and of course a shout out to the Lithuanian Mint. In full openness and transparency, they've gifted me this coin to keep which is very generous of them to do so but it's in no way for a quid pro quo arrangement for me to tell you it's amazing you have to go and get it. I'm probably gonna say some nice things about it because it's a really good coin, but your purchase decision is yours and yours alone. There's no affiliate bonus codes. I'm not tied to the success of this coin. It's just really nice to have a pragmatic sponsor that just wants to get their products out there and show them. And that is what the Lithuanian Mint are doing. So a huge thank you to them. There are links in the description box below to their website and to the products on their website where you can go and find out more about it. And if you're interested, then you can make your decision and buy yourself. So without further ado, let's get on with the review. I'm loving that little catchphrase. I can't believe it's taken me eight years to find it and get it and use it, but here we are nevertheless. So. Good package, good box. Um, what I could say is this uh, cardboard sleeve could be a little bit more detailed. Um, you know, we could have a bit more details on there from the Lithuanian Mint, perhaps a bigger crest on the back or something like that. But I'm picking up straws to find something maybe as constructive feedback. The box itself is very nice, well made. It has a lovely felt bottom. It feels great. Uh, opens nicely, shuts nicely. Can't complain about this box. It's great. It's got a really nice inside felt as well. So it looks fantastic to house the coin. The coin is really sunk deep in there. My only criticism is that it is a little bit tough to get out of there. I think the addition of uh, a little sort of ribbon underneath here that sticks out from the coin that you can then lift and bring the coin out would be uh, a great little addition to this to help that. But we're talking again about small little aesthetics here, which are not massive. Uh, the COA is uh, pretty simple. It's just got the uh, the details of the coins in, in there with um, language of, of course, I presume it's Lithuanian. I don't actually know, that's awful, isn't it? But I presume it is, and of course, English as well. A little QR code, which I haven't actually scanned, but I can imagine takes you to uh, the product information on the Lithuanian Mint's website. COA could be bigger, bolder, better, I guess, but again, small things to look at. One thing that we can all agree is, uh, and this ribbon's very, very, very tight. So there we go, it's in. Well, I suppose the COA is not coming out anytime soon. But one thing we can agree is whilst all of these extra parts of the products are nice to have and maybe could be a little better, but they're not actually that much, not that bad. I've seen a lot worse. The coin itself is where all the action is at. Before we just get to the coin, I will talk about the capsule very quickly. Very, very good capsule. Had to very carefully pry it open with a sharp blade to actually even get it moving. There is no way that that capsule is going to come open on its own accord and have the coin potentially be damaged. Now, I'm not going to take this coin out altogether and hold it in bare hands. I'm going to show it to you like this in one half of the capsule. And when we flip it over, we'll see the other side too. They are really premium products, these. You've got to remember that. If you've watched my channel for a long time, I've shown these kind of products for seven or eight years. I think they're wonderful, I like them. I think if they speak to you and you've got a affiliation with the, um, with the sort of subject type, then it's something that's definitely worth looking at as a collectible, as something that's really enjoyable to own. Some do very well as an investment, others do not. It's very important to remember that and it's not necessarily wise to go and buy um, well, there's only 500 of these minted, so I was gonna say a monster box of them, but you get my point. They have to be looked at as a collectible investment rather than just a uh, investment in the metal. In the metal, you are looking at the entire picture, which is an ironic phrase because we are looking at, of course, the picture of Dorian Gray, or at least an aspect of Dorian Gray with that picture coming through. I love the story of Dorian Gray. I think it's fantastic. It's one of Oscar Wilde's classics, and it really does, I think it speaks more in this modern world that we're in now with this sort of, it's almost like this duplicitous, is that the way, the way you pronounce it? Probably not. Duplicitous uh, kind of world now where you've got this veneer on top and then everything underneath is a little bit um, rotten and not so great. And I think it speaks to uh, the human psyche incredibly well that we have this public facing, this, you know, everything is great. You know, there are plenty of organizations and people out there when the outside is, everything's great, everything's great. And on the inside, things actually aren't quite so great. And I've done uh, videos in the past talking about my own personal uh, struggles in the past of, of dealing with emotions and dealing with uh, depression and crap. And it's really, I think, speaking to me, this 
picture of Dorian Gray. And if you haven't heard about what Dorian Gray is all about and the story of it, then um, very brief summary. Dorian Gray himself um, is a uh, very vain individual. He gets a very beautiful portrait made of him and then he falls into um, into sort of madness and greed and desire and he has, gets addicted to opium and wants to be a god almost and makes sort of bargains on that front to be a god sometimes. And then the picture starts aging and showing his true self and his inner self and eventually it drives him mad. He murders the painting and of course inadvertently murders himself. So it's a really kind of good metaphor for this modern world. So with that sort of theme uh, aspect of it all behind us, let's now have a quick look at the coin itself and see what the uh, offerings are here. So we're in uh, the sort of two ounce silver realm with antiqued high relief and gold gilding, all the things you want in these types of coins and it's done exceptionally well. So the Lithuanian Mint have really done above and beyond jobs on the amount of detail that's in here. Uh, it is a really pretty coin with high relief, but it's not sort of too high relief that it looks almost garish. There are some high relief coins where they're so high relief that you get this almost um, non-human looking aspect to it. The features are almost elongated or the, the chin doesn't sit right back into the head, for example. But this is really tasteful and a really nice sort of presentation of that high relief nature of the coin. I like that it's got the uh, the background gold of, on the face there, showing that portrait coming through, showing that rotten self individually. It's really well done. The design has taken a lot of thought into putting little aspects of the story. So researching for this video, there's a little opium poppy leaf there. So poppy leaf, I should say, uh, which signifies his addiction to opium, of course. And then the type of knot that he's used in his cravat there is an Anubis knot, showing Dorian Gray's will and want to be a demigod or a god which is really cool. So that's very nice to see. And uh, of course, at the top there, to define is to limit, which again is a really, I think, important um, phrase in this modern world that we're in. To define someone and is to limit them. And I think no definitions of what is possible and capable is really important in this world. But anyway, that's beside the point. So it's really well done. I think it's elegant. I think it's not too busy. There are some coins in this sphere of influence which can be absurdly busy and have a lot going on them. This, I think, is nice. It's tasteful. It harks back to that uh, era that this whole subject matter comes from and it really is quite well done. The reverse of the coin is, well it's actually a coin for one, that's always a nice thing to see. Sometimes you get these uh, mints out there that are not. Um, I'm seeing, oh I've just seen this here that there's some quality issues on this, or is it quality issues perhaps? Right, good news, it's not quality related problems. I was uh, sitting there looking at the coin going, oh my goodness, have I dropped it? Did I do something wrong? And so I jumped onto the Lithuanian Mint's website. Uh, I was just quiet with the recording for like a minute and a half whilst I was looking. So I've put the little jump edit in here, but it's not uh, a quality issue. You can see on the picture on the website there, they have got the little marks on the edges there. So it's kind of good to know that they're not quality issues. Uh, it did scare me a little bit. So it's good to share that information so that if you do get this coin and you see those, you're not worried yourself. It would appear to me that those are bleed overs of the design or theme, at least of Dorian Gray, where the inner rotten self is shining through and it's causing those imperfections on the coin or perceived little imperfections. So a nice little touch and I suppose it's done its job because it got me to think about the coin, have a look again about the coin and really think about what the theme of the coin is. So I can only say that's a really nice little extra touch. But what I maybe would say to Lithuanian Mint is maybe make that obvious for people because I know there will be some people who will look at that and go, oh my god, there's damage on the coin. There's not. It looks really good. So the reverse side has, of course, the seal here of the public seal of Nui, uh, the picture of Dorian Gray text at the top, $5, 2024, and a little Lithuanian Mint symbol there. My only piece of con constructive feedback on the design of the coin would be perhaps to have that serial number put on the rim of the coin, or the edge of the coin, I should say. Uh, there are a lot of other coins like this in this sphere of influence that have that, and with a mintage of just 500, it would be a nice little extra touch. This one is numbered, 140 on the certificate, matching it up with the one on the coin, would be a really nice little extra touch, so perhaps a little bit of constructive feedback for the Lithuanian Mint. And again, look, actually, now that I look on this side, I'm seeing some of the little rim damages on the edge here, which again are that bleed over of that theme and design, so really good to see. If any of you had spotted that and commented, oh my god, there's a big ding and damage, it's part of the design. So, hey, there we go. We learn something new every day. I'm not perfect and I don't always get it right in the first takes of my video, but it's a really nice product. It's a really great coin and a really nice introductory offering from the Lithuanian Mint to share on our channel. And I want to say a big thank you to them for their sponsorship and generous 
support of our channel. It's really great to bring on companies like them that don't want anything in return other than just telling the truth about their products. And something like this is a pretty cool product to say the least. Remember, it's not an investment in silver. So if you are going to buy it, it's a premium product. Treat it like a proof coin or a collectible. You have to know your market. You have to have a think about what it means to you and why you want to buy it. And if you do want to buy it, then there are links in the description box to the Lithuanian Mint's website where you can see this product in all of its glory and make your own decisions. A huge thank you to everyone for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this coin down in the comment section below. If you're in the Backyard Bullion Rambling Society, then I salute you for staying to the back end of my videos and a huge shout out to the Cool Kids Club members who are extra special and of course cool. Thanks very much for watching all. We'll see you on the next video. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.